All right. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Riku Bekkauksanen, and I'm here to talk about uh, some World Blown Day stuff. And uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, update a Plone 6 site. And for this case, I'm going to use Plone.org, the new, well, Plone main site that we updated last year and brought it up to Plone 6. And uh, on this demo, I just want to show how uh, how it works, the whole updating and creating new content with Plone 6. And um, yeah, it's World Plone Day. Every year we uh, celebrate our favorite uh, content management system. This year it's the uh, 26th of April. And uh, this here, what I'm showing is the Plone.org main website. And um, this is how it looks right now. So we have this big banner slot here uh, with some carousel stuff. Then we are uh, advertising World Plone Day. And then we have these nice uh, little blocks here, column layout, news, then something else. and. Uh, full width background color thingy, another image, big numbers, and some uh, uh, some other content that we bring up to the front page from the site itself. So this is Blown.org, and uh, uh, from the main menu we can find stuff like uh, what is Blown Six, how it works, and uh, and what else? How to get started with with blown? So basically, this kind of stuff. And uh, and I want to, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with blown six. I've been using blown for <laughs> twenty years now, since blown two point oh five or something like that. And I really like the basic idea how blown organizes content in folders. So everything is like a, this whole tree structure of folders and subfolders or pages and subpages and and it all uh, it's all still here in Plone Six, but also the uh, like the user interface uh, has been renewed, and actually there are two user interfaces for Plone Six. The other one is Classic, which is similar to Plone Five. Uh, but it's uh, much redefined and improved, and uh, that's also really easy and nice to use. But uh, what I'm demoing here is the the other uh, user interface called Volto, and that's the default that comes with Plone 6. And all these marketing texts here, uh, they are true. It's really easy to use, and it's really fast, as I'm going to demonstrate. There's this uh, block system that you can uh, build the page, page using different kinds of blocks that uh, come out of the box. Lots of box, <laughs> blocks come out of the box. And then there you can just build more if you want. And uh, the layout is really flexible and fluid. And you can create different kinds of uh, column systems there. And this other stuff. Uh, forms or no code content types i'm not gonna touch so much tonight but just gonna demonstrate how to build a new page using plone 6. so uh, all right let's get into business uh, here on the other if i go to the front page i'm now logged in and as you can see the user interface is really like minimalist, minimalistic and simple. So after logging in, I see these three buttons on the left, uh, the pencil and the folder, and then the plus button. So edit page, uh, check the structure of the site, and then add something. And maybe something more behind those three dots. And on the bottom, you have this uh, logout button and, and stuff like that. So 
I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, I'm going to create a page for our previous Plone conference uh, that we had last year in Namur, Belgium. And I'm going to create a page that kind of reflects on the event itself. And uh, I navigate to the place where I want to add the new page. And from the left menu, I can at different kinds of content types. And uh, you can create more content types by, by yourself, but uh, in here we have like uh, limited the options to just these five. So I'm, I want to add a new page here, and this is how it goes. All right, here's a new page. And uh, yeah, type the title. This is uh, flown conference 2022 in Namur and let's say recap and for better searchability I'll write some summary this is a test page to demo clone six all right and uh, uh, the elements that you can see here is uh, basically the save and cancel button. Then you have uh, some undo and redo buttons here on the left. On the right, you have the page settings. So this is a new page. I can add a preview image, uh, select if I want to have it, like uh, this discussion feature active, maybe exclude this page from the navigation, add some categorization, tags for better searchability, let's say conferences, uh, select the language that is English and set up some dates for publishing and hiding the contents. And then we have the other metadata here. But the most important thing happens here in the center of the page. And if I press enter here, a new uh, like line appears. And this is the most important and most used feature in this uh, Volto user interface. So I could start just writing maybe like uh, this is a recap of uh, Plone Conference 22. If I had enter again, there goes another text block. But um, I want to add more. I I want to create a, something like this, maybe this kind of um, column structure and uh, different kind of blocks here. If I take another example, let's say Plum Six, this is a little bit simpler. I want to create something like this. So. I could continue and continue with this this plus button here. It shows the different blocks that we can add to the page. And uh, here are some blocks that are custom made, especially for this site. Usually there is just a description and text, but uh, there are different kinds of text blocks uh, created for plon.org and uh, then we have media blocks like image video and few additional ones like cider and side by side images. And then we have hero element and map embedding and, and grids and maybe HTML block. But um, let's start with the like roughly structuring the page. I could first start with the adding a grid here. So let's say two columns. Now oh, I have a two column grid. Then I want to create another grid here using three columns. And then, then maybe something else. And uh, yeah, I, I of course want to add a like big banner image here. So let's do that next. So, I will add image block. 
And now when I have selected a block, uh, and if, if it's something else than text block, I can see the block uh, like uh, block features on the right, right panel of the side. And then I will upload an image. I have some images from the conference. Let's say this uh, nice building here. Upload it here. And uh, yeah, it's a building. Building and now I can see that I can change the alignment of the picture, put it full width, uh, change the image size, maybe don't not the small one. And I can link it somewhere if I want to. I just keep it like here. All right, now we have an image. Then I would like to add some text here. So I will add text block, another text block. And since I'm lazy, I just copy paste something from here. Like this. Uh, let me see. Actual copy paste. Mm -hmm. My copy pasting skills are lacking, it seems. Or my browser is uh, doing evil things with me. So maybe I'll just write something. Lorem ipsum. Ipsum fun conference. Can I copy paste this? Yeah, cool. And let's just repeat it here. All right, nice. Uh, now I have these blocks here. I save and I edit, I save and I edit. And this is one of the best features, I think, in Phone 6 uh, Volta. It's really, really fast. So going from saving and editing, it's almost instantaneous. Uh, so it's really like, easy to make some changes, save it, then make most changes and save again. All right, let's do something, something else now. Mm. I would like to add more images here. And there are like different ways to add images. I can do this, that I select image from here upload it there and it shows. Or I could do this, uh, like if I want to bulk update many images, I can go to the contents view of the page, select upload here, and then select like all of these images and push them up. This way they are all usable for me in the next stage when I edit this page. Let me show you. So I select image, I could upload here, but I could also use this uh, browse button. So maybe this image here and then another food picture or the castle. All right, this looks nice. And I save it. Now we have nice images there. Um, okay, let's do something, something else. Um, Uh, maybe I could now demonstrate uh, some of the custom blocks that uh, we have created for this site. So let's say 
teaser grid. Um, let's say two columns. And teaser grid is something that uh, uses the existing content of the site. So I will select existing content, maybe like blonde conferences and online 21. And for the other teaser, I will select uh, number 22. Maybe for this one, I could select the uh, phone conference 23. Here we go. Nice. So this way we can easily put content uh, up there showing uh, just by linking it from the site. And let's uh, try something else. Another block. I could use maybe one of the text blocks here, or maybe, yeah, I know. I will use the hero element. All right, so for here, I will upload an image. Let's say I will use my image for hero and then one of the speakers telling about flow. So this is a custom block and I could make it link to some place on the site. And as you can see, this, uh, this navigation on the site is really, really fast. So it's uh, almost instantaneous. I just can navigate and uh, select a page where I want to link. And here it goes. And link title could be read more about clone six. All right, that wasn't probably the best image, but you get the point. Uh, all right, something else. I really like these, some of these uh, custom blocks that have been made for this page. Uh, ah, now I know, maybe, maybe the slider. This is uh, quite fancy and it has lots, lots of uh, custom settings. So the slider is, it's the large banner on top of the page or where I want to put it. And here I can add slides. I only have one slide now. So maybe I'll add another one. So now I have two slides. Uh, they are still empty. In uh, uh, default, it, it shows the like, title of this page. And I can easily select the background color like this, the title color, text color, if there's going to be a button and separator like this. And maybe align the text in some different way. I like the left alignment here. And I could uh, change the title change the title to something else uh, because it's cool and display a separator nice, nice little graphical element and then i could select the image to be shown here maybe maybe the you know this one or something that work yeah let's put that food picture there all right now we have an image and it's kind of hard to read the text from the image so i can say opacify the image and now the text is easy to read and it can 
it could link to, let's say, lifelong page. And there could be a button. Read more about clone six. And now I can save it. All right, so now we have this nice slider on the bottom of the page. I forgot to create the other slide there, but I can do it later. But uh, now I'm not happy with this image on top of the page. And here we have another nice feature about editing a page. Each block section has this uh, handle on the left. So I can easily like rearrange these blocks. And I will just uh, drag this uh, slider on top of the page. One more drag, right. And just put it up there. All right. And now if I save it, we have it here. A nice big banner on top of the page. And uh, let's continue editing. I can maybe now remove this. Uh, let's say if I could, let's take something from there. Uh, put another text block here and another one and a third one like this and now i could uh, change this picture layout so that it's uh, floating on the right and i put it here all right now i got this nice picture and text layout and i could change this uh, text element if i double click i can see the like this nice little text editor here i could uh, change this one to title like this and and then just save it again all right what else could we do oh i know i know another really cool uh, feature that comes out of the box is uh, i would say the search block this is nice so I added the search block and as default, it shows <laughs> all content on the site and it shows this uh, search bar, all right. But I can easily uh, like create such kind of search that it only search from, let's say fro from the Plone Conferences folder. So, let's say location and navigation path um, maybe i could yeah let's say on conferences navigator path would this work absolute path like this All right, now this works. It only shows the results from the conferences folder. Then I can uh, add more like uh, uh, limiters there. So I want to search only pages. And uh, yeah, pages that are inside uh, the blown conferences folder. Um, then I can sort them by, let's say, creation date, reversed order. So it shows the newest one first. And maybe limit the results to 100. And item batch size could be like 20. All right, let's save it. So here we have this nice search element. Uh, it needs still a little bit fixing. So let's say, 
Oh, ooh, we have these nice, <laughs> uh, nice little different kinds of uh, settings that we could use. But uh, um, yeah, well, let's not use. Let's use the simple card one. All right, this is better. Like clone conference search. Nice. And background color is gray, full width background. It gives a nice little look for that setting. Number of columns, three. And headline, oh no, headline. Just there, that's redundant. Show images, show descriptions, show buttons. Uh, now we can change the title color to blue so it looks more like a link. Here's the base search query. Mm. And we can also add facets here. So this is interesting. Let's say like, uh, like dates. And I will add a facet called dates. And it could be like creation date and facet widget could be date range. And here we have the date widget. Nicely. And then we can have controls like sorting and so search button like here. And what else available for use? We are already using that. So in just a few clicks, we can create this nice little search. And if I search for like Boston, uh, there was a conference in Boston in 2016. So I could easily create a search element inside a page that search just the contents I wanted to search for. All right, uh, what else? What else? Maybe I would limit the results to 30 and 15. All right, this is better. Uh, let's put something else on the bottom of the page. So let's add another. Oh, this is nice feature. Yeah, this, this is something I need to show you. So I want to save this page. And if I find another page here, like this one, and I see that there are some blocks that I would like to reuse on, a, on another page, I could go here, edit this page, and select by co uh, command clicking or control clicking these blocks. Well, let's say this one also. So now I have selected three blocks. I can copy these blocks, go to this page. And off the left corner, I have this uh, paste button. So if I go to the bottom of page and set paste, I can now copy those three blocks or three like uh, rows that I just copied. Nice. And now we have a, a video embed also here. Right, what else? Let's take one more, one more example, maybe. Yeah, listing is another 
way to like uh, list content. Uh, it's kind of similar to search, but it doesn't have the search toolbar. Side-by-side -side images is something made for custom for this site. Oh, tabs, tabs would be nice. So like phone six features and more features. I totally forget to talk about the conference, which I was supposed to talk about. This is more, more of Plone 6. And now we have this, uh, we have this block element here. And as you can see on the top right or the right column, we have the uh, settings of this block. And I could easily change the order of these. Uh, yeah, these tabs. And I could uh, put the text of, let's say, here, copy this one, put it here. And on the other tab, we could have something else. And on the third tab, something totally and different like this and now we have this nice tab element right here and the word from the developers themselves is that uh, creating these custom volta blocks is quite easy and maybe to demonstrate that uh, thing is to show this uh, GitHub page called Awesome Volto. So it's a list of already ready-made add-ons for Plom6 Volto. So there are lots of different blocks that you can already select from. Just install those to your Plom6 site, and and you can have a Matomo integration or forms or carousels or separators or Twitter blocks and, and so on. So there's already a lot of uh, ready-made uh, blocks that you can use. All right. Um, what else could I show? Let's see. Yeah, this form is a I, in the beginning, I said that I wouldn't show the form, but it's, it's kind of nice. So maybe I'll demonstrate it also. So I have this nice page and I want to ask feedback about this page. So let's add the form. Let's say feedback form. Give feedback, please. Recipients could be my address at phone.org. And test mail, submit button label is submit. Um, we could have a CAPTCHA provider and we can store the compiled data as a CSV file. And yeah, this is how it goes. So. We can add fields here. And this field could be text. And let's put some like name. And then we could have email. And it could be email field. Users reply to. It must be required. Name is also required. And the third field could be uh, your comments. And it could be text area. So a little bigger. And that's it. Now we just uh, created a new form to that page. Of course, you need to make sure that the uh, uh, 
your site setting has the proper um, configuration for sending email. But it's here and it took like one minute to create an uh, in-page form. So, yeah, maybe uh, there's quite much more that I could show, but basically I wanted to just demonstrate that it's pretty fast to edit the page. You can have all different kinds of blocks there and go back to editing them. You can add images and videos and custom made blocks. You can have uh, custom forms and you can have custom search results and all kinds of stuff. And then it's really fast to edit the page. So, so that's it. Maybe the one thing to show up is that this page is private. So Plone does have lots of different configurations for workflows, but the default one is that when you create the content, it's private and then you can publish it. And from here, I could easily publish this page, but I won't since it's just a test page. So yeah, this could be it. Um, thanks for listening to this Plone 6 editing demo and see you around.